Fairy Meadows is one of the most popular and beautiful places to hike in Pakistan. With the unobstructed view of the 8,125 meters high beast that is Nanga Parbat, one of the highest mountains in Pakistan. It is considered to be one of the most accessible hikes that will allow you to witness an 8,000 meters high mountain without doing a multi-day trek. If you are traveling in Pakistan, Fairy Meadows is a must-visit place. In this video, we will guide you from Islamabad to Fairy Meadows and get to the Nanga Parbat Base Camp. We will also discuss the budget you need on this memorable tour. Hello travelers, welcome to Economy Tour 360, the place where you find valuable travel and budget information. If you are new here, please subscribe to our channel. Let's begin our journey from the question. How to get to Fairy Meadows from Islamabad? Well, to get to Fairy Meadows we need to reach Roiku Bridge first. There are several ways you can get to Fairy Meadows. You can fly to Gilgit via Pakistan International Airways. PI run twice a day from Islamabad for around 113 United States dollars. From Gilgit, you can get a taxi to reach Roikut Bridge. Roikut Bridge is located 80 kilometers south of Gilgit, and it will take you around an hour to get there. You can either get a taxi to drop you off at the bridge or take a bus heading toward Chilas from the bus. You can also take an overnight bus to Gilgit from Islamabad, which will cost you around 2,500 pkr, and it will take 18 hours. The good thing about taking a bus is, you have the option to drop off directly at the Roikut Bridge before the bus arrives in Gilgit, given you don't have a lot of stuff to carry. If you would like to shed some weight off your backpack and leave some stuff before the hike, we would suggest you go directly to Gilgit, stay one night there and leave your stuff at your guest house or in a hotel. If you reach Roikut Bridge by your own car, you need to park your car in a safe parking spot. Parking is not free here, you have to pay 500 to 1500 Pakistani rupees, depending on how long you stay at Fairy Meadows. Getting to Fairy Meadows Trailhead, 1.5 hours by Jeep. This is where it will get expensive especially for independent travelers like us. You see from the Rakit Bridge, you will need to take a local jeep up the mountains, and it will cost you 9,600 pkr per jeep for a round trip. The jeep can be shared with the locals, or other travelers of up to 5 passengers. You can wait for some other travelers, to show up at the bridge, if you have the time, but if you arrive late, and you don't want to be hiking in the dark, you will have to bite the bullet and pay for the entire jeep yourself. Once paid, the jeep will take you through one of the bumpiest roads you will ever experience in Pakistan. The road zigzag its way up the rocky mountain for about 1.5 hours and you will arrive at a village, Tato, where the trailhead begins. Just before you leave, your driver will ask you on the date of your return, and the exact time you will arrive back. Make sure you give your driver the correct detail, and be sure to stick to it. This is essential for the driver as they will have to come back, and pick you up. Also, remember your driver's face? The hiking trail to Fairy Meadows begins where the jeep drops you off. At the drop-off point there is a small tuck shop selling water and snacks. Once you leave the drop-off point you will cross a stream and walk about 100 meters to reach an area with some toilets, hotels and a police checkpoint. At the police checkpoint foreign tourists will be asked to sign in. This is a straightforward formality and should only take a couple of minutes. For those who aren't particularly keen on hiking at all there are horses available for hire at this point. You can sit of the horse, while its owner leads it up the trail. Borders are available for carrying gear between the jeep drop-off point and ferry meadows. For large loads the porters have donkeys. The scenery on this section of trail isn't particularly impressive until the last 15 minutes or so, at which point Nanga Parbat comes into view. And once you reach Fairy Meadows you are rewarded with even more stunning views of Nanga Parbat in the distance. Once you are at Fairy Meadows there are several accommodation and restaurant options scattered across the area. They are all within a few minutes walk of each other. There are also several tuck shops selling bottled water, snacks, and other basic supplies. There are a number of privately owned accommodation options. These predominantly consist of cabin-style accommodation, as well as grassy areas for camping. The majority are located in Fairy Meadows, however there are also cabin and camping options at Bale Camp, about a 45-minute hike beyond Fairy Meadows. The majority of visitors make it to Fairy Meadows, and don't venture any further. 
This is a blessing for those who do want to reach Nanga Parbat Base Cab, because it means the trail beyond Fairy Meadows is less populated and more pristine. After leaving Fairy Meadows the trail wanders through forest high up on the hillside above the western bank of the Roiku Glacier. The trail offers numerous glimpses of the mighty Nanga Parbat in the distance. It will take about 60 minutes of walking to reach the start of Bale Cab. Bale Camp is a small village at which the local villagers have built a restaurant, some cabins and campsite. Bale Camp is spread along the valley, and it will take you about 15 minutes to walk through the village. Bale Camp to Reiki Glacier Viewpoint After leaving Bale Camp you continue to meander up the valley through the sparse trees. The trail is easy to follow and has only a slight uphill gradient. After about 45 to 60 minutes you should reach a viewpoint on the edge of the Reiki Glacier. The viewpoint provides amazing views along the Reykjavik Glacier, and views towards the mountains, including Nanga Parbat itself, 8,126 meters, as well as surrounding peaks, such as Chongra Peak, 6,830 meters, Reykjavik Peak, 7,070 meters, and Ganelo Peak, 6,606 meters. After about 60 minutes of walking through the exposed rocky terrain you will turn uphill, and approach a flat grassy area. From there you have another 15 to 30 minute pinch climb up a steep hill with grass and various tussocks. All up, it should take you about 90 to 120 minutes to get to the base camp tuck shop from the Roiku Glacier viewpoint. We finished our hike at the tuck shop here. It had pretty great views and seemed an ideal place for us to rest and turn around. However, several maps show the Nanga Parbat base camp in a slightly different location to the tuck shop, and there is apparently two actual base camps anyway, a winter and a summer one. So whether the tuck shop is actually located at the base camp remains a mystery to us. But nonetheless it is a great place to finish your hike. Please let us know in comments section about your experience, if you have already visited this place. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.